Well, as you guys know, uh, Mike is supposed to fight Jake Paul in December and uh, he's facing three issues that many people have talked about. Uh, Jake in, is in his prime, uh, number two, his age, and number three that no one, is, no one seems to acknowledge is his drug use, past drug use and abuse, and maybe present too. Maybe someone has spoken about it, I don't know, I haven't seen it, but come on guys. Now I know that in California, pointing out drugs to be an issue is considered a freaking sacrilege, but I can hear some arguments also like, oh, no one's ever died from smoking pot, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and how much more productive would you have been if you stayed away from it? Or who can guarantee that it doesn't have any effect uh, later on down the road, you know, that it can trigger something else or aggravate a certain condition. Anyway, if you read his books and if you know about his life, you know that he's been way beyond smoking weed. Like, And drugs and alcohol are common for a rock star, I get it, but it had to have an impact on his body because he's not just like performing on stage, he's like an athlete and um, I can see a Michael Jordan or Ho a Holyfield being in a better health than him. I'm just speculating, but that's what I think. Now, I'm saying this with all the love in the world. Let it go. I can't understand it. Like, what's wrong with these people, these Madonnas and all? clinging desperately on some relevance like the 80s were 40 years ago which doesn't mean much in dinosaur years but it's huge in human years i might even be more attracted to a dinosaur than her but whatever that doesn't mean you can't work just keep your shirts on i don't know like nobody expects clean these two to run down the street for a scene like in dirty harry or doing a scene on a horseback like, you guys want to look good, sit your ass down. Like Tom Cruise, your time's almost up too. I see you in all these uh, Mission Impossible movies. Why don't you just put it down and let me carry the franchise? I'm just kidding. You're still incredible. Like the last Top Gun was out of this world. <laughs> I mean, keep it up. Now, all that being said, uh, nothing is black and white, so I understand the courage it takes for him to put his, his reputation on the line again. I mean, he never lacked courage anyway, so it's great that he's training and happy. I hope he is. There's a lot of money and attention out there. I know, I get it. But also the Logan versus Floyd fight ended up being deceiving for many fans so I hope he kicks him out he kicks he knocks him out early you know like the first or second round because if it goes on longer I'll get nervous um, all this all this would have something sad to it if he doesn't perform the way he thinks he can so I hope he can prove uh, people wrong now Jake he's doing his thing is getting more fame, getting more money. But there's one thing that he that he says sometimes in his interviews I've heard is that he he says that he wants to become a world champion, like being the best boxer. But that's not the way I don't believe this is the way to to the to the to the title shit, uh, to the title shot. I don't know. It's 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 bizarre. It's really weird this doesn't seem the path <laughs> like the path is a guy who starts at 10 years old and then you know it's really it's really and by avoiding to fight the guys who are in the top 10 or top 15 in his in his weight class like says it all so this is just for entertainment uh, I don't think I don't think he's delusional enough to to really to really believe that he can compete with you know being in that in that elite fighter class out there when it comes to boxing so 
that's just my my two cents on the matter i hope i hope they do well i hope we get to see a great show but have some doubts we'll see